So it ends up being H of T, that's a heavy subfunction. Yeah. Now this is just. F naught over M plus V of zero times the heavy side function. Right. Okay. Now, if we graph that, it's very simple. Here's your velocity. Here's time. Okay. Up to t equals zero, the heavy side function is zero. So any multiple of the heavy side function is zero. So we have this. Okay. Then the heavy side function is equal to one. So it's this multiplied by one. Of course, this is just a constant. This is just f naught over m plus v of zero. Okay. Well. We know impulse is change in, change in momentum, right? So I'm just going to go over to SI units, okay? Um, Remember the units of this integral, uh, the impulse and so forth, is this F naught times one time unit. Right? And of course that equals M delta V, right? So that delta B is F naught over M, but that's times one second. Okay? And that equals F naught over M if we just understand that we have this times the time unit of one second, right? Right. Okay, so delta B is F naught over M. V of zero is your initial velocity. Wave my hands a little bit here because, you know. Uh, there's some simultaneity involved in the V of zero and the impulse. I'm not going to worry about that. So the V equals V of zero plus delta V, which is V of zero plus F naught over M. Impulse over change in momentum. Again, you got to be careful that this is really F naught times one time unit, right? Okay, numerically it's F naught, but now the units are units of impulse, which is divided by units of mass give you units of velocity. Okay? Well, that's exactly what the graph says, isn't it? Okay? And what happens if we hit it again? Here. Well, if it's gone away from us and we hit it, the velocity is going to spike up to another. So you're going to have the sum of these two heavy side functions. Okay? Um, and if it's coming toward you, well, you're going to have a negative effect on the velocity. Okay? Um, and you know, you got to you got to worry about how that goes. Uh, but you know, it could come down. It could even go negative. Okay? Um, Yeah, if, you, if it's coming at you and you don't hit it hard enough, 
it'll keep coming at you. <laughs> you think about you know, you played football, right. have you? <laughs> okay. Uh, so I think if one of you was coming at the other, you'd probably still be coming after a while. You figure out which one is which. <laughs> Like, I hope I'm running a lot, hit a lot faster than Jared. We, 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 yeah, we, we, we have a two to one mass ratio here, approximately. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I need uh, to but be you know, probably more speed in one side be, than the I other. I don't be, know. I've I never seen be, you guys move. I need to be booking it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, anyhow, we understand, right? Right. Right. Um. So, uh, you know, that's a solution. To a simple question. Okay. Now, if we throw in, let's say, a drag, then we have an x double prime and an x prime, and we've got to transform that, right? And that's the first example in your book, actually. So you probably ought to read through that one. But if you understand this, that's just the same. It's just a little messier. And you got to do a little stuff. you got to, you know, well, you'll see. you got to relate your x and your v. Okay?